You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak. Alone Together, a COVID cabaret presented by students in the musical theater ensemble at the U of M's Des Hotel Faculty of Music takes place tonight, April 26th, streaming through the 30th, featuring monologues and scenes from hit shows like Hamilton, Waitress, Carousel, Frozen, and more. Director Donna Fletcher and students Keely McPeak and Alex Menick have joined me to tell us more. Hello to you all. Hello. Hi. Great to see you all. And um, Donna, I'd, I'd love to start with you. Can you start off by telling us a little bit about the musical theater ensemble at the Des Hotel Faculty of Music and, and what it's been like working with the group this year? Well, the ensemble has been around for close to 18 years now. I started as a small group at, at our old building at the university where we do a big, huge production, on a little tiny stage. And we've moved all the way now to doing full productions of um, really big, uh, different scenes, dance numbers, solos, quartets, huge ensemble numbers um, at the gas station theater. Um, it's a it's a joy to teach. I now have up to about 38 students in the ensemble from the original 12. Um, and they also were students from across the university, primarily faculty of music students who do this as part of their ensemble credit, but also students from the theater department. We've had kinesiology students, business students, art students, science students. It's, um, it's a really wonderful group of kids. Uh, I shouldn't call them kids, wonderfully talented artists who love uh, musical theater, uh, love singing, love acting, love dancing. And it's, it's a joy to teach them. Um, and we work uh, for two and a half to three hours every week in a, in a large class time. And uh, this year we had to pivot and it's really hard doing music online uh, with the delay. Um, it's hard dancing and doing choreo online. So we were able to get in some in-person uh, dance and, and music at the beginning of the year, but things quickly pivoted. And so we went online and this year we worked a lot with tracks prepared by our music director, Rachel Cameron. And we did a lot of writing work and scene work and really intense um, exploration of character. We had uh, guests come in to meet with the students, uh, the legend Tony Award winner, Len Cariou, who oh, was so the original great. Sweeney Todd, and then the wonderful Jazz Seely, who's in the cast of Aladdin, both Winnipeggers. So that's what we did this year to pivot. And guest artist Corey Wojcik and Ellen Peterson came in uh, to work acting and playwriting. And then Matt Armet did the choreo we did get in at the beginning of the year. Well, I mean, it is pretty exciting in terms of the, the talent that you get to bring in and, and connect with in this digital time. But I, I am curious, when you were going from the productions at Gas Station Theatre, Gas Station Theatre productions that I know well, I remember taking them in and they're always a ton of fun. What, what was your vision going forward for this virtual concert cabaret? Well, it's funny, last year was so heartbreaking for us because the show was literally canceled. COVID shutdown happened the day before our dress rehearsal. Um, so it was just heartbreaking. It, it was an amazing show last year. So I had the entire summer to think of a way to pivot. So I actually planned for four different scenarios. Um, first of all, that we'd be able to maybe get back into the gas station. Um, secondly, that we'd have to divide into two smaller cohorts. And so I planned sort of an act one with one group and an act two with another group. And then as that became clear and clear that that wasn't gonna happen, then I looked to completely recording online. And then as things opened up, we were able to pivot to some online, um, some Zoom recording, some students recording on their own and editing on their own. So it's a wonderful sort of um, a melange of, of all the different ideas we had for the year. But it just like, you know, week to week, I had to pivot and pivot. And then, you know, as people were exposed to COVID that affected our in-person and then, um, you know, weather affected getting some of the final recording done in, over the last month. So it's it just been and it's been a year of, you know, just close your eyes, pray and hope for the best. And we've turned out a, a beautiful project. I'm really thrilled. Well, I want to hear more from, from some of the students who've uh, joined us. Um, Alex, I, I'd like to go to you next. I, I understand that you had a hand in picking out some of the repertoire. Is, is that right? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I only choose, chose one of the songs, which unfortunately had to be uh, canceled because we did have a few dropouts this year because of the whole online situation. But um, so yeah, that scene was Unlikely Lovers from Falsettos. Uh, mm. That's really the only scene I had a say in. Um, th other than that, uh, 
we were planning on bringing some scenes over from last year, but unfortunately that wasn't possible because they were just too large, too many cast members. Yeah, I mean, that, that is the trouble, right? When you, when you have this finite number of people that you can either fit on a screen or with physical distancing fit on a stage or outside. Um, Alex, tell us a little bit about yourself though. Uh, you're a third year student in the faculty? Yeah, I'm a third year student. I'm a vocal performance major, so I have to do a recital this year. Um, that's coming up soon. <laughs> Pretty stressful. <laughs> but um, no, everything's going super well, so that should be fun. Alex uh, also really helped me in terms of making some of my final casting choices. I ran everything by him because uh, he was working as my TA this year. And it was really helpful because he had some insight into, you know, who he thought could sustain what part and in case of all the potential changes, how we could pivot. So that was really, really quite wonderful. Um, Alex, do you, do you have an interest in like um, directorship or, or something like that, uh, in working closely with Donna? Um, not really. But uh, I, I don't know, it's fun to learn kind of the backside of what's going on in a production. Uh, you know, you get to see the whole casting process. You get to see why Donna decides on these scenes for these people. Uh, it's really interesting, yeah. Yeah, all super, all super valuable um, information, right? Just learning more about the biz. Um, Keely, you're, you're a fourth year student, right? Yeah, it's my fifth year at the university, though, so I've been in the ensemble for a good, like, five years now. <laughs> and so, so what do you enjoy so much about it? Um, well, when I started back in my very first year, so I wasn't even in music yet, I was actually in science, so um, I, I used to not talk at all, I was super <laughs> quiet, and now I think I do talk a lot, so I just... <laughs> I feel super comfortable there and it's so like Donna just gives me such great roles to play now like last year we did uh, a duet from Sweeney Todd and I was Mrs. Lovett and it was it was so fun it was really good um, and this year she gave me a lot of freedom I did a few scenes with other people in the ensemble and then I did my own solo song so she kind of let me go off and do whatever I wanted so yeah I just love being free to do lots of things in the ensemble. And it's just, it's really fun to do. So tell us a little bit about what you'll be performing this year. Um, yeah, so I did one trio with two other people, which was very weird to do because we rehearsed it all online. So when you rehearse music online, it sounds really bad while you're singing it <laughs> because everybody's singing at different times and you're like, but, um, yeah, so I did that one trio, but I think it turned out really well because once you record it and put it together, then it sounds together. So um, that turned out really well. And then I did a couple scenes that myself and another student wrote, which was oh, the wow. first time uh, this year we did writing. And we all, I think we all have something that we wrote included in the show, like either a little scene or a monologue. Um, and then, yeah, I also did my own solo song called Crossword Puzzle, which I hadn't heard of before this year. So I kind of did my own music video type of thing. And I dragged my dad all around the city and I filmed a bunch of stuff. You got to thank all those uh, uh, supporting characters as well, either on the screen or off it, the behind the scenes people, so oh, yeah. important. <laughs> Um, Alex, I want to come back to you. Um, tell us a little bit about the process for you in terms of recording for this this virtual cabaret. I mean, we were we just heard Keely talking about putting together a, a group number without the group being there. I mean, so often you feed off the energy that comes from the stage. What's it like putting together this thing digitally? Yeah, so I had one scene in person and then one scene I had to record uh, by myself. Um, so first of all, recording with a track is just the worst thing ever <laughs> like you can't hear the track or like an earbud falls out and you're like oh guess i have to redo this take um <laughs> and then also uh i had to find sort of a neutral background for my online scene and well as you can tell by my room there is not much neutrality in my house <laughs> um and yeah, just 
doing it with a track is not the same as doing it with an actual live piano and obviously with the other person there or the other people, uh, which is why doing my other scene in person was so much like more, I guess, fulfilling. It felt like uh, <clears throat> I actually could act better. I, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but like, yeah, it just felt like I could kind of be the character as opposed to kind of having to work through these finicky things like the track. Well, that's just it, right? There's so many more moving parts when you're trying to not only be performing to the best of your abilities, but you're also trying to kind of be your own accompanist and your own recording technician. And you're also running sound at the same time. I mean, there's a lot going on here. Um, but what I think is very apparent is just the, the level of perseverance. You're both speaking to, you know, the process and trusting the process and getting to the final product. So I guess, Donna, to wrap things up a little bit, um, you, you mentioned how last year, the, the, the year end concert couldn't happen. It got canceled literally the day before. That must make this concert even more special and you just must feel so proud. Yeah, you know, I, I swore after last year, I think if we'd had more time, like if it was a month in advance, I could have found a way to pivot because I pivoted really quickly to Zoom and exploring other kind of online ways to do work. Um, you know, I was I was directing a show last year and we went into online rehearsals within about three weeks of, of the lockdown. And I, I wished if I'd had more time, I think we could have been able to create something last year. It just, it just wasn't possible. So I, I made a decision that come hell or high water, we were gonna have something for these students because they deserved it. And their work has been so great. And the Zoom rehearsals have been a blast, like working of, I'm gonna pass this to you through the screen. I'm gonna get it through the screen. I'm gonna look here, I'm gonna look here. Like, it, it was so funny and joyful and silly, but um, always filled with that heart and determination. And I think that's the thing that sticks with me the most this year is that, um, they have earned this right to do the show and the work they've done is lovely and their writing is very touching and very funny. Um, and I think you're gonna really see a true expression of each of these students on the screen when you watch the show. So, so special. Um, Donna, Alex, Keeley, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me at Classic 107 today. Well, thank you so much for having us. And yeah. al Alone Together streams today, April 26th through the 30th. Tickets are $10 per household, a COVID cabaret, and you can find more details up at classic107.com under the events tab.